Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be talking about the off-road class of trucks and how much max fuel each truck can hold. This is one of the more interesting classes as it has the Warthog, the Acteon, the 805, a couple other smaller trucks which can hold a different amount of max fuel. And we also have a couple of bigger trucks, I guess maybe not a couple, but you have one truck which can have 2,000 liters so if you guys don't know what that one is, stay tuned. We will also be doing this with every single truck outside their class. So just where they rank in the total game. As some of you guys may have been able to guess, ranked dead last in the off-road category. This is tied, I might add. Zero extra fuel is the ANK MK38. Tied with the ANK MK38 with zero extra fuel is the Freightliner M916A1. After that, we have the Azov 43191 Sprinter, which can have a total of 50 extra fuel. Then we have the Tuz Warthog, which can have either 60 on the roof rack, or it can have 600 in its small fuel carrier. It's the only truck in the game that has this small fuel carrier that's actually smaller than the small fuel carrier. So it's 600, or you can have both for a combined 660. Next up we have the Crocodile, which can have either 60, 120, 900, or 960. So you can get 60 on the roof rack, and if you have the truck bed, you can also get 60, which gives you the 120. Or you can get the fuel tank at 900, or the fuel tank and the roof rack, roof rack which gives you the maximum of 960. Next up we have the Tatra 805. This one can have 80 on the roof rack, which is kind of funny that it can have such a high amount for a, such a small truck. Or you can have 900 in its fuel tank, or together you can have 980. Then we have the Tuz 16 Acteon. This truck can have either 80 on the roof rack, 900 in its fuel tank, or a combined 980. This is one of the more odd trucks in the game, the Zixi 5368. I say that because that along with the Warthog, the 805, the Crocodile, and the Acteon, they can have the small fuel tank. This truck is the only one that can have the small and large fuel tanks. This truck can have either 900 or 800 liters. Now we get into kind of the boring part, which is a lot of the trucks that can hold the large or normal fuel tank. We have the Freightliner 114 SD. This one can hold either 1400 or 1800. Then we have the International Paystar 5070. Same thing, 1400 or 1800. Then we have the Royal BM 17, 1400 or 1800. We have the Azov 64131, 1,400 or 1,800. We have the Azov 5319, 1,400 or 1,800. We have the Step 310E, 1,400 or 1,800. We have the Voron Grad, 1,400 or 1,800. And the Voron D 53233, with 1,400 or 1,800, and that is where that combination stops. From there, we have the ANK MK38 Civilian, which can only have the 1,800 liter tank. We have the Taiga 6455B, which can only have the 1,800 liter tank. We have the Taiga 6436, which can only have the 1,800 liter tank. And then we have the Voron AE4380, which can only have the 1800 liter tank, and that is where that combination stops. And again, as you can see, we have a gap here. That gap is for the new Step Pike, the Step 39331 Pike. So I'll show you some of that footage here. And then we have the KRS Bandit. And this truck can have 140 fuel in its roof rack, as you can see by the seven little tanks up there. Or it can have 1,400 liter in the maintenance add-on. 
or you can have the maintenance add-on and the roof rack for a combined 1,540. Or you can have 1,800 in the fuel tank that we have on now. Or you can have 1,940 with the fuel tank we have and the roof rack and the very highest amount of fuel in the off-road class is the Tatra Phoenix with 2,000. It is the only truck in the non-heavy class that can have 2,000 fuel. And the KRS 58 Bandit is the only truck not in the heavy class that can have over 1,800 fuel. Pretty soon that will be with the Pike. The Pike can have 1,880, the Bandit 1,940. But there's very few trucks that can have over 1,800 fuel. There will be nine trucks, once all the Phase 8 trucks are added, that can have over 1,800 fuel. As you can see, 1,800 with the normal fuel tanks is where most trucks stop. So we are also going to do this with every truck in the entire game, not ranked by class, just ranked totally. And then we're also going to do this with repair points and spare wheels and... We'll do that by class and total rank. So those videos will be a little more interesting because you get to see across classes where they rank. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know if there's anything you learned throughout these videos or this specific one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.